हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल माई नेम इज साइल अग्रवाल आई एम अ फाइनल ईयर अंडर ग्रैड एट आई टी गांधी नगर दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल दोज हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर देयर इंटर्नशिप्स एंड प्लेसमेंट्स बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट लीड कोड सो आई पर्सनली हैव सॉल्व मोर दैन थ्री हंड्रेड प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन लीड कोड एंड आई विल शेयर ऑल माई एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑल माई लर्निंग्स विच आई गेंड आफ्टर सॉल्विंग दीज अमाउंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स so this video is going to be a complete lead code guide how to you know start lead code how to practice problems on lead code and as soon as you visit the website you get very fascinated with the ui ux design which is there right i believe that lead code has the best uh, ui design among all the coding websites which are available you have so many different things on lead code right as soon as you will go on the page you will have a dsa preparation guide you will have interview preparation guide you will have a system design preparation guide you know you will have 3000 plus problems right and you will have a different contest page uh, where every sunday lead code organizes a weekly contest a bi weekly contest on saturdays so there are so many different things right so what to do what not to do many people have so so much confusion about lead code which problems to solve uh, should we solve all the easy problems should we solve all the median problems or uh, like should we take a lead code premium account because we want to solve those locked problems right so is it compulsory to take a lead code premium right so i will try to explain everything from scratch this video is going to be to the point and i will tell you everything what you need to do in order to build a very very good lead code profile which would impress your interviewer some competitive programmers think that we are you know very good rated at code forces so we don't need to do lead code but i don't think so because i think lead code is necessary for everyone because some of the topics like linked list tries stacks binary trees and binary search trees these topics are some topics which you don't you know solve while doing uh, cp problems and these topics are the topics which are asked in interviews so even if you are a very good competitive programmer i think that doing lead code will always help and because you don't want to miss out on solving these problems uh, definitely you should check out lead code uh, so people would say that you have only solved around 300 problems on lead code whereas other people may have solved around 600 700 problems but i did these in only uh, around 50 days so i was consistent i actually solved uh, around you know uh, 7 to 8 problems every day but besides these th 300 problems on lead code i have solved over 200 problems on geeks for geeks and i have solved over 450 questions uh, while doing competitive programming so i have a lot of experience uh, in this domain so i think you guys can trust me if you think that this guy is adding some value in your life and if you think that this video helped you uh, i would request everyone to please like the video share with your friends who want to you know start their lead code journey and do subscribe to my channel and do comment down uh, that which was the best thing which which you liked about the video and what kind of videos do you want in the future i would definitely try to make them and do comment down any doubts which you may have be it as small as possible uh, i will definitely you know answer your comments in a very detailed manner so here we are on the lead code website and I just want to clarify that I am assuming that people who are watching this video have some basic knowledge of all the data structures and algorithms. Uh, if not all, uh, let's say some of the basic data structures like arrays, strings, linked list, tags, and queues. Because uh, Lead Code is a platform for solving problems, not for understanding the concepts. So if you are not aware of the basic knowledge of DSA, I think you will not be able to survive uh, on this platform because this platform. has some very 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 difficult problems as well so okay i'm assuming that you guys have uh, some basic knowledge of tsa and you are here to practice as many problems as possible okay so let's start so as soon as you visit the website again you are fascinated by a beautiful ui which they have so straight directly we will go to the problems section which is the most important part so here on the problem section if you will scroll down you will have Uh, problems listed down okay so i will explain you the basic uh, basic thing which you need to know so you can uh, obviously set the difficulty as easy medium and hard i would suggest that if you are starting lead code then uh, you should solve at least 30 to 40 easy problems not more than 50 because i don't think easy problems will teach you a lot about uh, you know concepts so 30 40 easy problems is enough so you can just uh, 
you know uh, filter out by easy then you have status like if you have marked some question as to do then you can uh, watch all those questions you will have solved problems and you will have attempted problems and then you will have some tags let's say if you think you are weak in dynamic programming you can always you know uh, filter the problems based on these tags and you will uh, get the dynamic programming problems and obviously you will not have many easy problems of dynamic programming uh, everyone knows that it is a difficult topic okay so these are some of the things which you need to know and if you want to do random questions then uh, you can just uh, delete the tags right you will have random questions so let's say we go to medium uh, here we can also you know uh, uh, sort the problems based on the acceptance rate so if you find a question which has a higher acceptance that means it is a relatively easy problem as compared to a problem who has a lower acceptance rate right uh, let's say uh, so in this way you can solve you know some of the questions so i would say that if you uh, keep the difficulty as easy and try to solve 30 40 50 problems then move on to medium and then uh, move on to hard and if you feel that you are you know weak in some topic particular topic then you can always you know filter out the questions by putting in the tag right okay uh, so there is one option known as pick one so what you can do is if you want to like pick a random uh, random you know random question uh, so you can always do a pick one and you will get a random lead code problem it can be of any dsa topic it can be of dp it can be of graphs it can be of you know hash maps priority queues anything so this is a very good feature of lead code i think so this is something which you can do uh, now you cannot put uh, the company tags because it is paid and i don't think you need company tags because on geeks for geeks uh, you can put the company tags in free so i will definitely make a video uh, on geeks for geeks guide if you want so please comment down if you want that video okay so you can solve 40 50 questions easy questions then you can move on to medium then move on to hard this is one thing which you need to understand then here is a card which says stop interview 150. This is very, very important. I think this is the most important part of lead code. I must say that if you want to crack any internship, any placement at a good company, solve all these 150 questions. These are the most beautiful questions ever, ever, uh, you know, made. So solve these 150 questions. There will be easy, there will be medium and there will be hard questions. So I would say if you are doing lead code, uh, solve these. I think this was all about the, you know, problem section. Uh, one more thing uh, people you know uh, ask me a lot that uh, do you do we need to you know uh, actually take a lead code premium account so i don't think so because uh, if you if you see there are 3000 plus problems on lead code and if we let us assume that 50 problems 50 percent problems are uh, premium ones then also the question count comes down to one five double zero which is which is more than enough like uh, if you are solving 1500 problems you are already a you know uh, a very good coder okay one thing which i want to clarify that if you have a locked problem and if you desperately want to you know solve a locked problem then you can search this problem on google uh, by having a geeks for geeks prefix and you may or you may not find a problem so if you go on my profile and observe one thing that out of 300 problems 173 were medium and 50 were hard so actually 220 problems out of these 300 were of medium and hard so i would say that if you are solving x amount of problems not more than 20 percent should be easy and uh, because easy problems actually don't teach you a lot so i would say that 20 percent easy 60 percent medium and the rest 20 percent should be you know hard problems uh, that is a good you know division of all the problems okay so now moving on uh, to you know how to solve the problems one thing uh, which is very important to note down in lead code let's say you have been given a problem you're writing a solution and let's say when you submit it you will see that it beats a 50% of users with C++ and memory is this thing. So many people get obsessed with this thing, right? This is actually not correct because like one hour earlier, I, you know, submitted the same problem and it showed me it, uh, it beated like 80% 80 percent of users right so uh, please don't get obsessed with these things uh, just focus on the time complexity of your algorithm so 
the time complexity of this algorithm which I have written is n log n. Okay, so just focus on that. Don't focus on these runtime and memory things. No, just focus on this green accepted part and the algorithm uh, and the time complexity of your algorithm. Okay. So this is one thing which is very very important to note out. Please don't get intimidated by you know uh, these these data. And one more thing which I want to tell you that in many questions of lead code you will have a follow up problem. So okay, so this problem can be solved using order n square time complexity. It will get submitted. But there is a follow up question which says that can you come up with an algorithm that is less than order n square time complexity? So actually lead code prepares you for interview rounds. So if the same question is asked to you in the interview, uh, then the interviewer will uh, you know uh, ask you the problem. You will tell him or her the order n square time complexity solution. Then he will tell you to optimize that. So lead code is doing just that thing. Okay, so it is telling you to optimize. So please don't skip this follow up part. This is very, 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 very important. So this question actually, you know, uh, you will be able to solve in order n log n solution. I think yes. So I've written an uh, I've written an order n log n solution, which is the most optimized one. Okay, so please don't you know uh, ignore these follow up questions. These are very, very important. One more thing to note down that if you're not able to solve a question, let's say, or even if you are able to solve a question, then please go to the solution part. Uh, this is called the discussion section and you will find many people who have shared their uh, you know solutions so if you're not able to solve you can always go here and you know uh, you will find a solution in mostly every language so this guy has you know uh, explained the intuition the approach and he has also given the code in uh, three languages java c++ and python so this discussion section is like a, you know a boon for all the programmers and you will learn a lot from these discussion uh, sessions because you will if you read through the comments and the uh, you know the posts which people have made on a particular question you will learn a lot about how you know can how you can reduce the time complexity how you could have written the code in a better way right so these are some of the things which you can learn from uh, these uh, discussion pages and one more thing to note that uh, whenever you are you know picking up a question please see the like to dislike ratio if uh, the number of dislikes is much much higher than the number of likes then there may be some problem with the uh, with the question itself or there may be some problem with the test cases so please don't uh, solve that uh, i will give an example this this is a problem which has 6.4k dislikes and only 800 likes so uh, there is a high probability that there is some you know issue with this question so i would not recommend uh, solving these type of problems which have a higher dislike ratio now talking about contests so as i told earlier lead code organizes a weekly contest which happens on every sunday and a bi-weekly contest on saturday so i would suggest that you should give two contests every week uh, one would be your weekly Sunday contest and one you can give you no know, virtual contest so there are options of virtual contest these are very very helpful and uh, lead code contests are very very similar to the coding rounds which happen for more, the most of the companies because it asks four questions uh, for 90 minutes so I guess it is uh, very uh, you know similar to the coding rounds which uh, many of the companies have so lead code contests are the best way to practice because if you're solving problems you want to test yourself out on uh, contest right because you want to know how are you performing how are you, you know actually uh, performing uh, when the pressure is on right how fast are you able to write the code and those things so lead code contests are very very important and the last thing uh, but not the least that consistency is very very important if you're not consistent if you're solving let's say 10 problem uh, on your first day and not solving any problem on your uh, in the next three days uh, there is no benefit of that you need to solve questions every day so this is my graph in may and june i actually solved lead code for 46 continuous days and after that uh, i got an internship offer from de show uh, by clearing their interviews and then i stopped okay there is a very good feature on lead code which will help you be consistent there is a concept called as daily challenge uh, okay so here uh, in this fire sign you can see the daily challenge so every day lead code you know suggests one question uh, puts out a question as a challenge so you can solve that question and this can be of any topic like binary trees dp graph hash map arrays right uh, so in this way you will be able to you know get practice on random problems and this is a good way to be consistent and also if you are uh, solving uh, daily challenges for let's say 30 days or for 60 days you uh, get some badges so these are some of the you know achievement badges which you get at lead code so i think this is a very good feature uh, this was all about lead code i hope you will start your lead code journey and whatever 
things i have told they are very very important and i request everyone to follow these you will definitely see uh, growth in your uh, lead code and you will be able to build a very good lead code profile that's it for this video we will meet in the next one right thank you so much bye bye